Hello, I'm Jim Skelly, and this is The Global Conversation. The Global Conversation is a course about how we've been living on this planet, how much longer we can continue on our current course, and what the consequences are likely to be if we don't radically transform our way of life and soon. Perhaps some of you have seen the comedy film about the nefarious and destructive activities of college fraternity boys called Animal House. Essentially, we've been treating our planet in the same manner those boys treated their frat house, only much worse. Essentially, we've been trashing it. The course, therefore, is not meant for the faint-hearted or those who prefer illusions to reality. Instead, it is meant to provide you with a sound foundation from which you can genuinely prepare for a future that is unlikely to resemble either the present or our wistful dreams of the future. I know that you're inundated with bits and pieces of information about the problems facing humanity, and that it's difficult to make sense of them or to know what to do. This course connects the dots. We look at the big picture so that you'll be able to place the information you receive within that picture. Among the things we explore in the course are earlier societies, like the Maya and the people of Easter Island, whose societies collapsed because they did not attend to limits imposed by their environments. The Human Toxome Project, which is attempting to assess the full scope of industrial pollution in humanity. The economic and political structures tied to consumerism and the favorite cultural activity of many people, shopping for things they don't really need. We also look at the various threats to our food and water supplies, including the astounding increase in the Earth's population, the challenges presented by climate change, including the increases in migration as more and more people attempt to escape the drought and famine that climate change brings about. In addition, we also look at what we need to do to address energy needs as we reach what is called peak oil and how we might positively respond to the various dilemmas humanity may face if we're to create a sustainable future. This will, of course, necessitate learning how to be truly engaged as citizens of this finite planet. Our future, of course, will depend on that engagement and whether or not we can become fully conscious of how to live on this planet in a sustainable way. Because if we don't learn how to live here, the consequences may be catastrophic. I hope this course will provide you with some modest basis for meeting those challenges, and I look forward to working with you in the semester ahead. Thanks.